She's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, she's a man eater. Way all the time. That digs on me. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's right, players. What up? Well, boss, tear up in this mud. Check it out. I got a fully painted up unit of lead belchers here. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take you through them. Some of these you've already seen, like uh, old Cranky here. So we're not going to go him and you might have also seen by the time this video airs you might have also seen long Tom with his long Empire great cannon so what we're going to be looking at instead are the other two guys that happen to be in this little mob of misfits the ones that I painted up just now and finished oh thank god it's the weekend I have a whole weekend to film and make videos and paint and I'm really excited. So let's get some light. Oh, my eye! And the first one, save you for last, bloody boy, is known as Iron Hammer. That was his name in the regiment. And so that's the name that he took. That's in the name of the cam uh, cannon back when it was in the Empire Army. So that's the name he stuck with. I gave him just as much soot and um, dirty battle damage as the other guys. I've um, gotten to really like painting these little matchstick flames. I think they're really fun and interesting to paint. And my recipe for that is just mechrite red, and then blood red, blazing orange, and then successive layers of orange and then yellow, which I think I'm pretty sure I explained in my tutorial. It's been it's been a couple days now since I filmed that tutorial. I think I filmed it on a Tuesday and it's been just rendering and uploading since then. It's taking a long time. So uh, he's got a little little horn full of black powder. I noticed that you only get one of these in the lead belcher sprue, so it's a fun thing that I wanted to put on. You also get these, um, what I thought were like bolas, uh, like you know those, those weights attached to like rope and net and stuff that wrap around, maybe not net, but they you throw them and they wrap around people's ankles as they're running away. I know Batman uses them, so that's where I learn all my stuff from, Batman. I decided to um, give him a red banner just to make him a little bit different from the other boys, and the great thing about this uh, cannon is I decided to paint it in a dark uh, tin bits kind of metal rather than gold like Long Tom, and rather than silver like old cranky straight bolt gun silver, uh, metal to give this silver look. I decided to, decided to give it this tin bits kind of look because I feel like the chips show up pretty well on it. And I also wanted to just be a little bit different, try something new and fun and there's no, you know, there's no need to be cohesive in an ogre army so like all of their cannons can look different and I could say that um, since this is an older looking cannon with all the vertigris on it that um, that he might have salvaged this from a battle where uh, the original Iron Hammer was lost. So I, I'm, I, I just like being able to paint up different things. Um, that's why I, I don't think I'll ever have a very sizable Space Marine army. Um, just a couple units here and there like my Astro Claws and Blood Angels. It's because I like painting things different. Like see this guy, give him a gold cannon even though um, I've mostly seen this style, these shorter, more stubbier lengths of cannon painted in silver, I decided to go with gold. Um, yeah, so this guy did not have a gut plate, so I had no place to paint out the name of his cannon, Brunhilde, which is uh, too bad, because I, I glued this plate on just randomly, and I didn't think about painting on the, the names of the cannons they were holding until after I'd already started, so, I mean, that's okay, you know, that's alright, whatever. Uh, you might notice that he's a little beaten up. He's a little worse for wear. And the reason for that is because when I was painting up his face, doing the skin tone, I realized that he's got all these metal chips in him. Like, jutting out of his cheek and stuff. And um, and I thought, like, what is that from? Is shrapnel? Or, or did something, like, 
just blow up in his face. So I'm assuming that maybe um, maybe uh, the, the cannon he was holding blew up the original Brunhilde and he had to pick up another one. Um, but yeah, I, just, I don't know. It's a mystery why, why they have why they made this face. I think they just wanted you to test out your blood and gore painting skills. I don't know if any of you Greybeards who have an ogre's army might know, then um, I'd greatly appreciate like, what is all this stuff in his face? Just looking at the GW website, I thought it was drool because they painted in a non-metallic, almost blue-gray, shadow-gray kind of color, and I was like, what? why is his face all fat and what, what are all those things sticking out? But like, even under his chin, he's got pieces of metal. So I did the, um, the soot painting, dry brushing the Chaos Black to make it look like soot and oil and just backwash from the black powder weapon. And I think it came out really effective. So I decided at this point when I was painting in the gore and the blood to uh, use a little bit of gloss varnish to make it look like his, his snot is mixing with his blood, mixing with his saliva and just getting all over the place and just being really gory and messy. And then I decided like there's no reason why I can't paint gloss varnish on the rest of my boys. So I uh, experimented with the other lead belchers in the unit and I found that just putting a really thin line of glass varnish on their lower lip really does make them come alive. It really ties the, the, um, the whole face of the model together, I find. It's almost like a spittle or drool that like, you know, when they get really frenzy and start frothing at the mouth. Then, um, you know, it, it gets this really reflective liquid sheen to it. Charlie Sheen. So um, I'm really happy with these models. I hope you are too. Follow me on warbosstay.blogspot.com if you're not already. And uh, you can see some pictures of these guys all, all shiny and in high res. And um, you can also follow my knob blog on the ogrestronghold.com. Great, great uh, website. Great resources for ogre players and for any kinds of players. And um, let's see, what else? I'm going to be posting up more videos now that it's the weekend. So um, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers out there who... You know, I know you hear it all the time from these videos that are like, oh, thanks to my subscribers, but like, I get it now. Like, I've always gotten it, but like, over this past week with all the support and all the encouragement I've been getting, I really appreciate all the, all the feedback and all of the comments and um, positive and negative, I, I appreciate it also. Just want to thank the community out there, the web community and the wargaming community, and um, I hope to get a lot more great quality videos out to you soon. If you have any questions or uh, want to know anything specific that I didn't get into, then please leave me a comment. And don't forget to like this video before you leave and subscribe.